the enchanted lantern in a faraway land ere the mountains touched the sky and the forests whispered ancient secrets, there was a village named Lumina. Lumina was a place of magic and wonder, known for its vibrant festivals and glowing lanterns that floated high into the night sky. These lanterns were not just for show, they were said to carry wishes to the stars. In this village lived a young girl named Mira. Mira was known for her bright smile and her boundless curiosity. Her greatest dream was to see the world beyond Lumina and to find the legendary enchanted lantern, a mystical artifact said to grant a single wish to anyone who found it. The mysterious map one crisp autumn evening, as the village prepared for the annual lantern festival, Mira discovered an old, dusty map hidden in her grandmother's attic. The map was adorned with intricate symbols and a glowing path leading to the enchanted lantern. Excited by her discovery, Mira decided to embark on a quest to find it. Before she left, Myra's grandmother gave her a small, silver locket that had been passed down through generations. This locket, her grandmother said, will guide you in times of need. Trust in its light and your heart. The journey begins with the map in hand and the locket around her neck, Mira set out on her adventure. The map led her through dense forests, over sparkling rivers, and up steep, misty mountains. Along the way, Mira encountered several magical creatures, a wise old owl, a playful brook sprite, and a gentle giant named Gorm. Each creature offered Mira a piece of advice. The owl spoke of the importance of wisdom and patience, the sprite warned her of hidden challenges, and Gorm advised her to rely on her courage and kindness. The hidden cavern after days of traveling, Mira arrived at the base of a towering mountain. The map showed that the enchanted lantern was hidden in a secret cavern within the mountain. As she ventured into the dark cavern, the locket began to glow softly, illuminating her path. Inside the cavern, Mira faced a series of trials, a maze of glowing vines, a river of shimmering mist, and a bridge guarded by a riddle-speaking dragon. With the help of the locket's light and her newfound wisdom, Mira overcame each challenge with grace and determination. The enchanted lantern at last, Mira reached the heart of the cavern. There, on a pedestal bathed in a soft, golden light, was the enchanted lantern. It was more beautiful than she had ever imagined, with delicate patterns of starlight etched into its surface. Mira approached the lantern, her heart pounding with anticipation. She took a deep breath and made her wish, I wish for the happiness and well-being of my village and everyone in it. As soon as she spoke her wish, the enchanted lantern glowed brightly, and a warm, comforting light filled the cavern. The light seemed to flow through Mira, filling her with a sense of peace and joy. A magical return when Mira returned to Lumina, she was greeted with astonishment and celebration. The village was flourishing like never before, crops were bountiful, the rivers sparkled with clarity, and the lanterns floated higher and brighter than ever. Myra's bravery and selflessness had brought immense joy and prosperity to her village. The villagers celebrated with a grand festival, lighting lanterns that soared into the night sky, each one carrying a piece of their gratitude and love. A lasting legacy the story of Mira and the enchanted lantern became a cherished tale in Lumina. Mira was remembered not just as a brave adventurer but as a beacon of hope and kindness. The locket she had used on her journey was placed in a special place in the village square, a reminder of the magic that lies in every act of selflessness and every wish made from the heart. And so, the village of Lumina continued to shine brightly under the light of its lanterns, forever guided by the courage and kindness of a young girl who had sought to bring happiness to her world.